After being captured by a mad scientist, a dog suffers a laboratory accident and is exposed to various chemicals that give him superpowers. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Underdog, from 2007. Dr. Simon Barr Sinister is a villainous scientist who dreams of taking over the world with his experiments, but is always interrupted by Earth's greatest hero, the Underdog. While the mayor is giving a speech to the police in the press, the hounds start barking, indicating that something is wrong. The Beagle realizes that there is a bomb inside, requiring the action of the bomb squad to disarm the device. Suddenly, the men open the box and find a piece of meat, a gift from the American Pork Association. Realizing that his guess was wrong, the dog leaves the salon with his head down and the other animals make fun of him. After removing his uniform, he ends up being captured by a kennel worker. Inside the prison, a strange dog claims that there is a veterinarian there and that everyone should escape as soon as possible. Bar Sinister tries to enter a research laboratory and the security guard stops him because the place is closed. However, the man shows his free access card, and a guy comes up claiming that he can enter, as he is the most important person in the company. After taking the elevator up, Simon enters a kennel where there are various animals, including a dog with a jaguar coat. There, he carries out his nocturnal experiments, which are forbidden. The scientist asks his assistant Domal to capture a new dog for the experiment and the man chooses a mixed breed. The doctor prepares a huge syringe containing human DNA and approaches the dog, who sneezes in his face. Suddenly, the animal jumps onto the panels, destroying the buttons while running away from Domal. It jumps to the ground and is surrounded by the scientists, but manages to jump onto a shelf, knocking over all the glassware and liquids on top of it. This causes the dog to take a bath with all the chemicals that were there, causing an explosion. Then a mysterious energy passes through his body, so he runs out of the place at extreme speed, opening a hole in the door. At the same time, a panel suddenly collapses, hitting the doctor squarely. When the stray dog looks for scraps of food in the street, he is interrupted by other dogs who threaten him. Suddenly, the animals start chasing him, but a car comes along and runs over the beagle. Driving the vehicle was the lab security guard, Dan. He checks on the dog and concludes that everything is fine. When he realized that the animal was not wearing a collar, he decided to take it home, without noticing that the impact of the accident had dented the bodywork of his car, even though it hadn't caused any injuries to the beagle. Jack is a teenager who hates school and forges medical certificates pretending to be ill. Dan is the young man's father, and he calls him into the yard to show him the dog he found in the street, which they have named Shushine. The young man is upset about getting a pet, because he believes that his father doesn't need to worry about it, since he already has the responsibility of looking after several animals. What's more, the young man believes he won't like the dog, since animals make a lot of mess. After falling asleep, the beagle remembers the scientist's words claiming that he has combined specific strands of DNA that give him the speed of a cheetah. The ability to fly like an eagle and the weight of an elephant. Meanwhile, Jack is summoned to the principal's office, who has discovered his false certificates, as he claimed to have contracted monkeypox and the teacher didn't believe his lie. In his new home, Grease finds a can of food in the cupboard. When he takes it in his mouth, he uses so much force that the can explodes and pieces of food are thrown at the walls. After this, the letter carrier arrives on the scene and the dog gets ready to bark, so the guy starts to provoke him, making the animal bark louder, which causes the window glass in the professional's glasses to break. Soon after, Underdog smells a tennis ball, gets under the sofa and uses so much force that the piece of furniture is thrown high into the air, destroying several things in the living room. Later, Jack returns and finds the house destroyed, leaving him worried about his father's reaction. The youngster asks about the leftover food on the sink door, and the dog replies that it was an accident. When he hears a voice, the young man is confused and asks again, surprising his pet when he realizes that he is being understood. Jack goes outside the house and Shushine chases him, believing that the young man is the problem, since he knows how to talk to animals. In the town square, a girl called Molly meets the two friends, realizing that the young man was talking to himself. She also has a dog called Polly, who runs up to her owner, leaving the underdog dazzled by her beauty. The two play for a while, and the dog mentions that he doesn't have a chance with her, as she's looking for a more cool companion. So they decide to remain friends. After Molly leaves, Jack throws a disc for his dog to fetch and realizes that it does so at high speed and even floats in the air, leaving the young man impressed. The young man gives him a piece of twig. In a few seconds, he digs a huge hole in the grass to bury the stick. Jack asks how the dog's nose is, but the animal replies that he gets nervous when sniffing. He ends up sneezing very hard and the impulse causes him to be thrown behind the bushes. Soon after, the dog shows off by using his super hearing to listen to everything people are saying around the park. 
What's more, he hears Polly calling for help and believes there are two guys trying to steal her backpack. So he runs quickly to save the girl. During the journey, the underdog begins to float between the cars in the street, dodging them skillfully. However, he ends up colliding with a truck and then swerves onto the sidewalk, where he runs over several newspapers, taking a man's wig with him and leaving him blind. This leads him to break into an office and accidentally steal a woman's sandwich. Even so, the underdog manages to get to the scene of the crime where he collides with a garbage can, causing the lid to fly into the face of one of the thieves. The animal is thrown against a mattress, which leads it to a fire escape, causing it to fall on top of the other thief who tries to get free, but hits his partner with the ladder. The stolen camera is thrown into the air, so Shushine picks it up and returns it to Molly while the others are knocked into the ground. During the confusion, he ends up capturing a photograph of himself, which the girl uses to show the police. She describes a dog to the officers, so they end up drawing the face of an individual similar to that of a dog, leaving them confused. The underdog doesn't want to be a superhero and asks Jack not to tell his father everything that happened that day. So they decide to clean the house before the man returns. At the same time, the mad scientist's assistant knocks on the door of the house and tells the young man that he's looking for his beagle, showing him his photo. After the guy leaves, the dog admits that he doesn't know him, because to him all humans are the same. Suddenly, Dan arrives home, but the house is still a mess. So Jack decides to distract him while his pet organizes the place. In the yard, the man notices that the window glass is broken, so he decides to go inside, finding all the dirt hidden under the carpet. Faced with this situation, the security guard decides to return the animal to the pound, but his son begs him not to. In the manholes of the city, the mad scientist walks around with a huge scar on his forehead. He wants to build his new laboratory there, but he needs someone to finance his work, as the materials are expensive. After arriving in a square, the dog comes across a hot dog stand and claims that the snack is made from animals like him, causing a group of people to spit out the food. Afterwards, Jack takes his pet to school, where he passes a cat that starts to tease him. Even though the young man tells him to control himself, the animal ends up taking the cat to the top of a tree. So the teenager decides to give his dog a training lesson, asking him to sit, lie down and roll over. Soon after, Shushine is given a collar so that he can return home if he gets lost, which thrills him. In the city laboratory, Bar Sinister manages to break in through the sewer entrances. At that moment, Dan notices the strange movement and goes to investigate a dark room full of equipment, but finds no one there. The man doesn't just want to capture his experiment, he wants to create an army of super dogs like the underdog. On the television news, they notice that there has been a big robbery in the city. So the dog decides to catch the thieves, but when he tries to get out of the door, he ends up making a hole in it. When he starts flying, he accidentally puts on a fish costume. At the same time, the bandits capture many innocent people on the spot while managing to open one of the safes full of jewels. One of them communicates with Simon Bar Sinister, saying that the team has succeeded in reaching the final objective. Outside, the police notice something flying in the sky and suddenly Underdog comes crashing through a sign and is thrown into the jewelry store. One of the thieves offers to fight the dog, but ends up being hit on the head and thrown away. Watching everything on camera, Bar Sinister realizes that this is the dog from his experiment and asks his cronies to capture it. The subject approaches the animal, but is knocked down with a single blow. The next day, the news that a dog has prevented a robbery hits the city news, leaving everyone in disbelief. The dog tells Jack that he feels good saving people, so the young man comes up with the idea of getting him a superhero costume. The animal tries out various disguises such as Sherlock Holmes, a bee and even Dracula. Finally, they decide to use a sweatshirt to adapt the underdog costume, so they start the preparations by cutting some fabrics. They set up a security code to serve as a warning, which is to bark three times whenever there is something wrong. Shushine puts on his costume and takes to the streets, where he finds a man climbing a building, then knocks him into the police car. Shortly afterwards, the newscast shows news about the dog that caught thieves and helped stop a car before it hit some children. At the same time, Molly investigates who the superhero is who is saving everyone. Bar Sinister continues to test his experiments on other dogs, but always fails. Faced with this situation, he comes up with the idea of stealing a DNA sample from the animal. To do this, Domal dresses up as a woman and pretends to be about to fall off a building in order to trick and capture the dog. After arriving at the scene, the hero ends up getting in the way and crashing into the building, causing the undercover assistant to lose his balance and plummet. Just as the guy is about to hit the ground, Underdog manages to catch him in midair. When he greets the animal, the man puts a leash around its neck, but ends up being dragged away by the dog, which starts running at high speed. While running, Domal collides with a sign, causing the rope to come loose. 
Although he managed to escape, Grease lost his collar to the man, leaving Jack hurt. After being compared to the superhero, the pet is given a dog cone in order to disguise himself better. While he is waiting next to Polly, the street dogs come up and make fun of his costume. Then his companion defends him and argues that he should be braver, just like Underdog. Later, the dog starts asking for help in order to find her idol. After a while, the dog comes running over everything in front of him, so she says she asked for help because she's just out of food. The hero holds on to his friend's paw and off they go flying through the city. The two steal a girl's lunchbox, but there's only one meatball, which they end up knocking off the top of the building. Dan hands his son a map that shows where the city's sewers can lead, and he tells him that even Bar Sinister knows the plant. At Jack's house, his father comes across the mad scientist and his assistant waiting for him in the living room. On the other hand, Polly tells Shushine that she went on a date with Underdog, and that he is strong and charming. In Dr. Simon's laboratory, he holds Dan hostage, forcing him to call the dog for help, under threat from three German shepherds who start growling angrily. The animal hears the call and tells Jack that he has decided to take on this mission because his father is in danger. The pet grabs the young man by the shirt and flies him to the location. When he arrives at the laboratory, Underdog speaks and surprises the security guard, who hadn't known about his superpowers until now. The dog decides to make a trade, his DNA for the freedom of his two friends. With this proposal, the animal ingests a pill that causes lightning to appear in its body and it loses all its powers. The man gives the superhero's DNA in the form of capsules to his three animals, which become super intelligent at the same time and respond to their guardian. Then the bandits head for the city's capital. Father and son begin to argue, but Dan demands that the young man come closer so that he can help free his hands. The bar sinister finds the mayor inside the building, but the press and the police are already on the scene. What's more, the news is already broadcasting the news of the mayor's capture. At the same time, Molly and her companion follow the assistant, who climbs to the top of the capital. Outside, Shushine laments that he can't do anything without his powers. Jack consoles him, saying that he loves him anyway. Suddenly, the dog starts sniffing out a bomb and decides to trust his instincts, running into the building in search of the explosive. Inside, the scientist asks the mayor for a billion dollars from the city treasury, as well as immunity from the law and the restoration of his laboratory. Shushine enters the pipes and ends up falling on top of a giant globe, which starts rolling down the stairs towards the bad guys, but hits the mayor. The underdog then bumps into the villain, causing several pills to fall out of his pocket. The dog is knocked out after the collision and the dogs prepare to attack him. However, lightning flashes through his body and he acquires his powers again, having ingested one of the pills. He lands a blow on one of the German shepherds and easily dodges the others, fleeing the scene in a hurry because he needs to go after the bomb on the roof. At the top of the tower, Molly is discovered by Domel, who ties her to the railing of the building with her companion. When he realizes that his henchmen can't capture the underdog, the scientist decides to ingest one of his capsules in order to obtain superpowers. In the meantime, the underdog crashes through a chandelier and falls to the ground, bumping into Bar Sinister. The scientist steals a sword and strikes the dog with it, but the dog dodges and throws a ball in the man's direction, hitting the sword, which breaks easily. What's more, the sphere hits Domil squarely, causing him to fall to the ground. The scientist then steals a metal shield and throws it for the dog to catch, causing it to spin with all its might, crashing into a statue. After getting up, he realizes that he is once again surrounded by the other dogs. Underdog starts talking to them, persuading them to turn on Simon and attack the doctor. Bar Sinister then triggers the bomb clock, which will explode in less than two minutes. The dog quickly goes outside the building and asks Jack to give him his superhero uniform. At the same time, the mayor manages to leave the scene, so Dan asks for permission to act, receiving a promotion. Upon entering the site, he gives the scientist an injection, capturing him and becoming a recognized police officer again. With less than a minute to go before the bomb explodes, the underdog manages to free Molly and her dog, and then carries the explosive to the park. While dozens of people approach the dog, he digs a huge hole and takes the explosive to the end of the tunnel. However, the device explodes just as Shushine is inside the tunnels. He then flies quickly, trying to dodge the walls of the hole, escaping just as the explosion reaches the surface. Even so, he suffers the impact and is thrown into space. Luckily, his body returns to Earth's orbit and he falls like a meteor near the capital, attracting everyone's attention. At the same moment, Jack picks him up and mourns the loss of his best friend. Suddenly, the dog opens his eyes and everyone celebrates that he is still alive. On the other hand, Dan takes Bar Sinister to his jail cell, which will be next to his assistant, making him angry. So Underdog says goodbye to Polly, so that he can set off on another mission. Along the way, 
Shushine comes across the street dogs, who threaten him as usual. But the super dog unleashes a supersonic blast at the gang leader, causing his fur to come off. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.